I'm going to suggest something. He never worked in WWE, but Ox Baker. Uh -huh. And I wish he would be there to accept the award. What an interview. And he had a, he had a big mustache like this and he'd go, I, I, when I broke in, he was there and he would clap his hands and he would do his interviews and very, very entertaining promo. Now his ring work wasn't that great, but you believed him because he had the heart punch, which reminds me of a story. Mm -hmm. I started in Georgia one and we used to run Savannah, Georgia, every Friday night, which was a long trip from Atlanta. It was like 260 miles. Now, it was all interstate, but still 260 miles is still 260 miles. And the owner of the territory was named Ray Gunkel, who used to be a, you know, an active wrestler, but he had kind of stopped. And they put him on a card in Savannah against Ox, and only because Ray was down there on vacation. Like Savannah's on the, it's on the ocean, and you go down there and, you know, vacation for three or four or five days. But they had the match, and I'm watching the match because I was riding with Ox that night, and Ox was on last, so I'm in the back, and I'm standing around and I'm watching the match. Match was okay, and. The bell rung. Ray Gunkel won. We come, we come back. But he had hit him with the heart punch or something. But he didn't pin him. Something happened. So we went to the dressing rooms, and right before we left, a referee came into the dressing room and they said, "Ray Gunkel just died." What? They said, "Yeah, they they're just taking him out. Yeah, he's dead." Now that's a hell of a damn leaving note and I remember that night and you know what Ox was worried about whether he was going to get fired for, kill <laughs> for killing <laughs> the owner it, it, no for killing the owner <laughs> now it's not funny and I don't mean to laugh about that but that's that's what he was kind of worried about but and that helped his reputation because he had hit another guy with the heart punch, uh, one of the Torres brothers, mm -hmm. and killed him. So that heart punch, all of a sudden, this is when people kind of kind of believed wrestling was only up and up. And so when he pulled out that heart punch and he got it ready, those, that crowd would come up. Mm -hmm. But interesting, we, we went 260 miles that night. And I was asking, Ox, did you hit him? I was even believing it. Did you even hit him? He said, no, no, man, I didn't touch him. <laughs> but he still uh, thought he was going to get fired, even though he didn't touch but him. But he did He did think he was going to get fired. He, he really did. But And that started a whole flurry of things when Ray Gunkel died. We'll, we'll, we'll start this story another time. We don't have time now. Mm. But Ann Gunkel was Ray Gunkel's wife. And when Ray died, in come the flock of vultures. Mm -hmm. And they were going to come in because Atlanta was owned by several different people. And they come in and they were going to force her out and take and take Ray's part of it. Mm -hmm. That's why she pulled up. She pulled away from them and formed her own company, Gunkle Enterprises. Now, uh, I'm, so, I'm uh, looking at this now. It says, after a 10-minute brawl, this is from illegalforeignobject.com, I'd heard uh, around about this, in which Gunkel again came away with victor uh, victory uh, against Ox Baker. He died in the locker room. So he must have been hit with a heart punch, scooped out, and then he dropped in the locker room afterwards. This is suggesting. Does that sound right? I don't think he was hit with a heart punch. No, I mean not hit with it, but I mean, I mean, he obviously took the heart punch, and that's where, you know, but then he died in the locker room afterwards. But he did die in the locker room afterwards. Yes, yes. yes. But I think what people, what Ox did, tell people that his heart punch sometimes had a delayed reaction. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't, get, it wouldn't get you right then, but all of a sudden you go to the dressing room and you go whoop. 
No, but he, he did, did die of a heart attack. What what Ray had was high blood pressure. Uh, it's and it was a really a hot, hot, hot day in Savannah. He gets like 105 there sometimes. And he had been on the beach, and I'm sure that, and he'd been drinking a little bit. So, but he he died of a heart attack. He just dropped over dead in a in dressing room.